Welcome to Introduction to Leadership. Let's begin with discussing who is a leader. A leader is someone who leads or commands a group of people. Now, most people believe that some are born leaders, while in fact, most leaders are made. Being a leader is not only about directing someone or something, but about giving guidance. There are four basic levels of leadership, executives, middle management, supervisors, and the front line. When you look at the traditional duties of the various levels in an organization, you see that a certain part of the job is conceptual. For top management, a lot of their day is spent on conceptual issues like culture and strategy, the big picture elements. A middle manager is someone who has a manager or supervisor reporting to them. They still have a significant part of the conceptual work to do. Supervisors have a little bit of conceptual work, but not a lot. While the front line is getting the technical work done, but there's a big middle area that everyone spends a significant amount of their time on. That's the human issues. These are things like relationships, communicating, and training. This is where leadership comes into play. There are three things all leaders will do. Show, teach, and assist. A leader will show someone how to do something. This task usually requires working side by side to show someone how to accomplish a task. If you're teaching someone how to do something, that's a good use of your time. You can teach them how to do a task and trust they've learned how to properly execute that task. Then, there are situations when you are assisting, where you're simply lending a hand. That isn't something you want to do all the time, but occasionally, it makes a lot of sense. For example, a manager of a computer company had a large report due. As the deadline approached, everybody in the office was working late nights. The branch manager thought, I don't have the technical expertise to be of much help, but he was an incredibly fast typist, so he spent his time at a keyboard entering text and data. He laughed that in the weeks running up to the deadline, I wasn't doing much leadership, I was in there typing. But his employees felt like he was willing to do whatever it took to make them successful. So you can show people, you can teach people, and when needed, assist people. You're helping other people to work more effectively. You may be asking yourself, what's the difference between leadership and management? Well, they're very different. Managers are process oriented, whereas leadership sets an example. Managers will be in control over things or people. Leaders make sure that the organization has the right values and the right resources available to employees. If we look at individual comparisons between management and leadership and what their interests are, management is looking at departmental goals, whereas leadership is looking at the entire organization's goals. They're making sure things go the way they should. Management is task-driven. They're trying to get things done. Leadership is making sure work processes are in place. Management is concerned about policies and procedures. They're concerned about specifics on how to do things. Leadership is looking at culture, respect, trust, and ethics. These are things that leaders have to establish in the organization. Management is into command and control. They think, here's what I want to make sure happens. Leadership says, I need to involve and coach. The more I can empower others and coach them to perform, the better off we'll be. Management is looking at who reports to whom, who has to communicate with whom, and at what meetings. Leadership is making sure there is open communication across the board. Management is making sure team members are doing what they are required to do. Leadership is looking at the process. What went wrong? Why didn't that work the way it should have? Usually when things break down, it's not a people problem, it's a process problem. So leadership is looking to figure out what the processes were. Management wants everybody to get along and make sure everybody's happy. Leadership is looking at the facts. What are the numbers telling us? What are the results telling us? Management needs a quick fix, whereas leadership is looking for management by fact and by unity, but also long-term fixes that make a difference in the overall performance in the business. Now that you know what the differences are, take a look back at your own experience. You've probably had many leaders tell you what to do and how to do it. They've been good and bad at it, yet you don't learn anything from them. To become a good leader, you need to understand the best and worst leadership you've had. So, what makes a good leader? Forbes magazine says there are 10 qualities a good leader must possess. Honesty, the ability to delegate, communication, a sense of humor, confidence, commitment, a positive attitude, creativity, intuition, and the ability to inspire. One of the first things a good leader does is redefines success. It's not just about the numbers, but the long-term overall health of the business. 
That could be from financial matters to employee satisfaction and turnover. Good leaders are usually employee-centered. They're focused on people. They're concerned with helping employees be the very best they can be, doing their best work, and being motivated on the job. This means enabling motivation. Notice the word enable. It's not about motivating people because you can't. How do you enable motivation? You have to make it easy for people to motivate themselves. As a leader, you encourage them. You give them praise. You say, hey, you did a really good job on that last week. Keep up the good work. Leaders don't punish people for coming to them with bad news. They don't gather people around them that agree with them and tell them everything's wonderful. Great leaders know what's going on. Great leaders not only enable motivation, but also remove barriers. Those barriers could be something like limited resources or processes not in place. Leaders will make sure there's a clear path for people to do what they're capable of doing. Leaders teach all of the factors that make a successful business. They show everyone how to think like they are the owner. They show everyone how the business fails or succeeds. They show everyone how to get more out of the job. Leadership is always evolving. People evolve, the company evolves, processes evolve, and leadership has to move along with it.